I bet you had no clue that 915 homes sold in the last 12 months in Fairhope, Alabama. 915. All right, I'm going to give you a bunch of numbers today. Uh, this is not a glamorous video of Fairhope and or Baldwin County or anything like that. I'm not going to be going on a food tour. Or it's not going to be that pretty, but it's going to be kind of boring, but it's necessary if you are thinking about moving to Fairhope, uh, you've been looking around, you've been looking at homes online or whatever the case may be, you need to know the numbers because we've been going through some growth. And a uh, little small town of, of Fairhope, it's just 25,000 people, folks, but it's been steadily growing. I think the last last figures I saw were was that uh, Fairhope is the third fastest growing city in the state of Alabama. So anyway, uh, these numbers are important, so let's dive into it. So I'm Jeff Nelson. I'm a realtor with IXL Real Estate Eastern Shore. If you've been keeping up with me, you know you've probably heard me say that, I don't know, about 370 times. Anyway, there's a number of factors that need to be talked about, about uh, why Fairhope is growing so much and so fast. Um, we got to look at the area. The area is just so quaint and charming. You're about an hour from our beautiful beaches and Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Food's great. Schools are great. The climate's great. About 10 months out of the year. And I don't know, people are learning about us. Hey, you know, a lot of people hear about us because in Fairhope because they come down to the beach maybe. You know, we have about eight and a half million people that come to, to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach every year, and that number's growing. So then a lot of those people meander up north a little bit, and they find Fairhope or Daphne or Spanish Fort. And uh, quite frankly, a lot of people are just moving here to retire or maybe a job opportunity or whatever. Um what brought me down here 12 years ago was my wife at the time had a job opportunity in Mobile. And then I discovered the Eastern Shore in Baldwin County and I never left. So um, there's a number of factors that make Fairhope uh, so special. Fairhope is written about in magazines all the time. So anyway, there's that. But let's dive into the numbers. This is what's going on right now in Fairhope, Alabama. This is September 27th, 2024. And I'm giving you real numbers. Okay. Let's go. So let's start first <clears throat> with what kind of market that we're in. This is a software that we use here, down here with uh, RPR. Um, so it shows um, starting for August 2024, seller's market, balance market, and buyer's market. And it shows that we're kind of uh, just over the cusp of the line of a seller's market. And these are the indicators right here. So the indicators would mainly be this one. But there's 4.33 months worth of inventory. Now, what is said, the experts say that usually it's between five and six months worth of inventory is where it's more of a balanced market. And you say we're below that. So a seller's market is when that there are more buyers than there are homes that are for sale. So our inventory is pretty low right now. And so that's, that's why we have that. We have a very low inventory. Another, another big indicator is this one. Um, now this 98.9 means that uh, on average, buyers are getting 1.1% off of the asking price. So that's an average. So that means there's some buyers that are paying more than the asking price. So it's more than 100%. And then some are getting a little less than 98.9%. So it could be anywhere from like 96% to 102%. And then we get an average of this 98.9. But it's close, when that gets close to 100%, then um, you know, you're, you're teetering on a seller's market for sure. So I would say that we're definitely in a seller's market. I agree with this. Um, the, the inventory is pretty low. All right, let's get into the median home value and how that's changed over the last 12 months. All right, so you can see right here, 484,880, that's the uh, median estimated value, which is up 8.1% in the last 12 months. So this blue line here is Fairhope. So um, in, at the end of August, it's 484,880. And then we move over here, 
October of 23, the median value was 461.260. So what's really driving that is the desire, um, the demand. It's all about supply and demand, and there's more demand coming into Fairhope, which is driving prices up and consequently uh, driving values up. All right, what's on the market right now? Let's take a look. Well, 317 listings right now in the market. This gives you a really good spread of what's happening here. Um, the median list price is $606,000. It's up 4.0% month over month. There are 317 homes that were sold, or that's on the market right now. That's actually down some. See, that that's, talks about what I mentioned earlier, that our inventory is down by 5%. And then um, the average house that's on the market is almost 2,500 square feet. But this is the big, the big thing I want to zero in on right here. And that is the price per foot. Okay, the price per foot is $236 a foot right now. Now, um, so that's what it is right now. Fix this. That's what it is right now, $236 a foot. But you look a year ago, and it was $224 a foot. Again, it's the demand. It's the man, demand that's causing these prices to go up. And so as long as people from the north are finding out that uh, Alabama is a beautiful place to live, um, the numbers are going to keep growing. All right, so I mentioned earlier in the uh, video about, about all those homes that have been sold in the last 12 months. I want to take a deeper dive into that. And uh, so what has caused all that demand? What, why are so many people moving here? Again, Fairhope, this isn't Atlanta. This isn't Houston, Texas. This is Fairhope, Alabama. And uh, as we see here, 900, this is in the past 12 months. 915 homes closed. Now I just did single family homes. I, I didn't I didn't even include um, condos. And it just shows you the the highest purchase price. There was a six million dollar home that closed and then the lowest was 85. And um, of course you have an average of 590,000, but the median price was 464 and then we have the square feet. So um, there is a huge demand of people moving into this area, and uh, it is showing by the number of closings. You take 12 months divided by um, uh, 12, take 915 and divide it by 12 months, and it, we have a lot of closings every month just in this little town of Fairhope. So I hope these numbers made sense to you. They do to me, but I do this every day. But um, so my prediction is for the near future of Fairhope, I really believe that the, the growth will continue because new construction is popping up all the time. I'll ride down a street and then I'll see a, a new development going up and I haven't seen before. Um, I'm thinking right now of Hope Vineyard. That's a, I think that's in Fairhope. Anyway, I, you go down a, a county road somewhere and all of a sudden there's a new development going on. So there's a lot of new construction happening. Um, I looked at those 915 closings that had sold. Uh, there, was about a, there was about 100 of them that were new construction or like two years old, one or two years old. So there's a lot of new construction happening in the area. And um, anyway, there's a lot of room for growth, but... Still, then you got to look also, you know, the Fed just, you know, dropped rates. And so we're looking at lower interest rates now. And um, they do look like they're going to continue uh, to drop a few more times this year, probably. So my prediction is the growth will continue to happen. I do see another big appreciation for the next 12 months, just based on what's happening right now. And I, I really see nothing that can change that. So if you are looking to move to Fairhope, I'm your man. I try to keep up on everything and uh, just give me a ring and here's all my information. Talk to you guys later.